And welcome back to This Week in Pennsylvania with Congressman Lou Barletta and our political analyst, Chris Nicholas and Abe Amaros. Thank you all for joining us. And Chris was just mentioning, it's been pretty quiet. There's a U.S. Senate race going on in a primary in the Republican side. All the noise and all the oxygen in the room has gone to the governor's race, which has been very uh, nasty and loud. Really a kind of a quiet Senate primary, uh, you and Jim Christiana. Why is that, do we think? I'm focusing on beating Bob Casey, and we have a great opportunity here in Pennsylvania to do that, and, and that's where I'm putting my resources and, and, and building a campaign team, and, and it's, this is an important seat for the country. What do you make of it, Chris? It's just odd to go into a county and everyone's fighting over this governor's race, and it's like, oh yeah, there's a Senate race. It's depending on how far away we are from Lou's district. It's either we know it's Lou, or there's that congressman from Hazel. And then there's kind of nothing else, partly because I think just until a few days ago, there was no one in that race advertising on TV. And that kind of cuts through the clutter. And on the Democratic side, Abe, I don't know if the two incumbents are going to do any TV before the primary since they have an open shot. For the record, Congressman, we hear like when we advertise on television. <laughs> Let's talk about, uh, is this a referendum on Donald Trump? Will this ultimately be a referendum on, clearly you're the, pre we showed the tweet, you're the president's guy. Uh, and I, I don't know that the president, and you, I know you poo-poo the polls, but it's, they suggest that the, the president is not as popular as he may have been on election day a year and a half ago. Is it a referendum on the... On the on well, the I, I, don't, I think there's no question the national media will make this a referendum on Donald Trump. I'm going to make this a referendum on, uh, on the contrast between Lou Boiletta and Bob Casey. What I've done, what I've accomplished in a very short time, and, and in 12 years in the Senate, um, it, you know, people tell me that they don't know what Bob Casey's done in 12 years. Uh, I sort of liked him better when he wasn't doing anything because now he's moved very far left and supports sanctuary cities and things that uh, most people in Pennsylvania don't support. Abe, how daunting is it, A, to run against a Casey and B, to have the mantle of Donald Trump uh, trying to pull that weight as well in it's Pennsylvania? Gonna, it's going to be an uphill climb, although I do agree that the congressman is going to win the primary. I think he's going to win it handily because he's outraised his opponent, he has a better organization, and his name recognition is sky high in terms of the Republican Party, so he has that going for him. Now, fast forward to the fall. I commend his loyalty to the president, but i got to tell you, it's not a two-way street with the Donald. And unfortunately, he's going to have an uphill climb because the people of Pennsylvania are fed up with the antics. They read the papers on a daily basis. They wake up and wonder what the disaster of the day is going to be. And unfortunately, that's going to hurt all of his Republican friends and those that he has supported. So I think it's going to be an uphill climb. The Casey name is still uh, resounding, uh, very popular here in Pennsylvania. So it's going to be an uphill climb for the congressman. I wish him well. If, if Congressman Barletta does uh, win the primary, what I'm interested to see is that there's normally a hometown surge for this statewide candidate. But in this case, if Congressman Barletta wins, he and Casey are from the same part of the world, Northeast Pennsylvania, which we all call NEPA. So I will be very interested to see what happens in that part of the world when they have not one favorite son, but two. Congressman, two of your colleagues, Republican colleagues, Charlie Dent, Pat Meehan, not only did they announce they weren't running for re-election, which that was a while ago, now they're apparent Meehan has resigned and, and Dent is about to resign, forcing special elections, which the governor said will be just on election day in the fall, which taxpayers probably support that. But right. what's your what's your take on these guys uh, just, just resigning instead of waiting until... Uh, well, you know, that's a personal decision. I, I myself would, would finish out my term. Uh, you know, that's a personal decision that, that they had to make for whatever reasons they made that decision. You know, I would... I would uh, Have you talked to either of them about, about it? Uh, From Because there's a rumor that Charlie Dent's going to go to te television on election night and he wouldn't be able to get a big contract to do that yeah. if he were staying in Congress. That's at least that he's obviously uh, a very well-spoken fellow and good on television. I have not spoken to either Pat or Charlie about why they're, they're leaving early or what they're planning on doing afterwards. Uh, I wish them both well. Uh, I'm focused really on what the American people want us to focus on and, and, and that's jobs, the economy, and, and keeping us safe. Any, anybody want to weigh in on that? Uh, Resignations? I, I, think, I, I think regardless of who wins the Republican primary for Senate, we're going to be see a strong contrast. Um, uh, if Jim Christiana wins, you have not only an issues contrast, but a generational contrast. If Congressman Barletta wins, you have a huge <laughs> issues contrast <laughs> on just about everything but what day of the week it is. Um, so I, to me, as an observer, uh, it's going to be very interesting. We're going to have to leave that there. Congressman, thanks for coming. Yeah, to you. Thank you. Stay with us more this week in Pennsylvania.